All right, guys, it's Friday. We're finishing up the week strong with this power minute called Pay Attention. Our verse is from Hebrews 2, 1. Therefore, we must pay much closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. Honestly, I can be guilty of half listening to words spoken to me. I might look like I'm listening, but mentally I've already moved on on my to-do list. Before you accuse me of the sin of multitasking, which somebody once did, the reality is that most of us are prone to half listening. We sit in church and look like we're paying attention, but our minds are drifting to the next thing. We hear our kids mouthing words at meals, but we're already on the next thing. The danger in half listening, according to the writer of Hebrews, is not as small or, insig or insignificant as we make it out to be. See, unless we pay attention closely to what God is teaching us, we risk drifting away from him. In order to move from half listening to people who are fully engaged requires intention and resolve. It requires valuing what is being said and respecting who is saying it. While you and I might have a lot on our plates, the only way to avoid drifting into a dangerous place of living is to live awake and fully attentive to what God has taught us. Funny, I was reading it and I had a grammar thing. I hope Irina fixed it on the written ones, but it was a subtle thing, but the sense didn't make sense. So I made the correction, but you see, I was listening as I was talking. I wasn't just saying the words on a page. I was listening. What a great object lesson. Are you listening to the people in your life? I have to remind myself seeing patients every day. I see 80 patients a day is what I try to see. I know that sounds like a lot, but it works. And, uh, and by the time I get to number 70 or 75, I remind myself, listen, there's an intentionality to it. There's a leaning in, there's a putting away of other things and listening. Are you listening to God and his word this way? Are you listening to your family members, wives? Are you listening to your husbands, husbands? Are you listening to, are you listening to the people in your life? Listen, it's as you listen, that you see and understand what's going on in people's lives. But when it comes to your faith, it is what will keep you from drifting away. And so let's listen. That means we should have things to listen to. And so for me today, I want to spend time, extra time in God's word. Maybe we should do that this weekend. We'll be back together on Monday. I love being with you guys Monday to Friday. Listen, this is not a routine for me. I know that it can get to feel this way, but we're committed to sharing God's word to you day in and day out. We do it in a number of ways. You can go to our app, the Living With Power app, or on our website, livingwithpower.org. Uh, there's tons for you to take advantage of. 90% of it is free. There's a few things we sell, like a, our books, but apart from that, most of the studies are free. And so we'd love to have you spend time in them, get to know God's word, get to know God through his word and grow closer and, and go stronger and your confidence in him. Uh, that's our goal for you here. And so have a great weekend. I'll see you again Monday.